The only one that didn't practice today was Jordan Lucas, uh, still ill, um, but getting better. So we got a little bit of that sickness go through the team and um, try to get the guys quarantined a little bit away from the fellows. Uh, look forward to the challenge again of playing the 49ers and going down to Miami. So we've got the travel uh, Sunday, and um, the players will be off tomorrow. And then uh, we'll reconvene down there and uh, start our meetings and our prep for the final week, final few days before we play. Coach, you had the heat turned up pretty high in the indoor facility. How much is that because it's cold outside, or you, you want to try to replicate what the players will be practicing in Miami? Yeah, well, no, I just didn't want the snow to accumulate on the ceiling and it fall down. Herbie, Doug, got it. Uh, you got to think all the different angles, man. Um, but no, I mean, we were just keeping it room temperature in there. So I mean, that's kind of what we're going to be doing. When you were at Missouri in your coaching career, just what do you remember most about being an online coach there that has obviously helped in some cases as an coach? I remember having to deal with I hate. That's what I remember having to deal with. Um, it was. Uh, uh, it was great. I, I, I worked for a good man, Bob Stoll. Worked for him at two different places, um, and you know he did it the right way. Um, and it was great competition. I just play. Our team played against Eric Bieniemy. I've told that story before. It took him five downs to beat us, and, and uh, I remind him of that often. But what a great experience! Uh, I love Columbia. Uh, the university is phenomenal. Um, I mean, I hate admitting it, but they put out some good journalists. Yeah, I, I think it's by the individual, and then you get them together. All get you get them all together, and they kind of feed off of each other. And um, uh, this, and this is kind of this age, this this time of of life at this time being 2020, right? So it's this is how it's evolved since I came in the league. I mean, we were barely getting cell phones back then, so I mean, it's now you can't get the guy that you give them a break so they can be on the cell phone. I mean, it's it's different. It's a different world. Um, but the, um, they, they do have a great personality. And I've said from the time I've been a head coach, let your personality show. I mean, that's part of this thing, not only as a player on the field, but also when you're off. And, I mean, you still got to stop at the red light, but you, gotta, you, know, you can let your personality show. There's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, I missed the Super Bowl. So there are only two teams practicing, and uh, you're one of them. So it's, uh, there's a certain energy that comes with that. Uh, but it takes certain energy to play in the game, too. Uh, every time you move up in the playoffs, the game gets faster. So this will be fast and furious, this one, and, and uh, two good teams playing each other. So it's, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's different. I mean, there's no, no doubt. You try to keep the foundation of it, the practices and meeting time, all those things, you try to keep consistent and the same. So and even with the fluctuation that you might have once you go down to Miami, uh, you give them an itinerary so they, they know where they need to be and what they're going to do. And uh, you don't throw a lot of surprises at him. That's not what we're doing. We're trying to, within all the media and the hype, you're still trying to get ready to play a football game against a good football team.